Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to a new Let's Play series here on Bloomfield, Canada. Um, this is the first video I've made um, here, brand new YouTube channel. Um, so, if anyone has pointers, tips, please let me know. Um, but yeah, so here we go. I've been wanting to play this plant for quite a while just haven't really got around to it yet so figured I'd try it out now and bring you guys along with the ride so so we're starting off doing kind of a challenge uh, series here so starting off with zero money so as I kind of explain the challenge I'm actually gonna start off with um, some contracts see here. Well, I can't do fertilizing because I don't have any money to buy fertilizer, so I can't start there. Don't know if I want to do a huge plowing contract right off the bat. Let's see what 54 looks like. 54. Okay, it's pretty square. Or rectangle, I guess. I don't know if I really want to start off plowing, though. It's a good amount of money. Of course, I could always borrow the equipment for one and do multiple. 42, 51, 54. Just trying to see where they are. 54. It's not, oh, there's 52 right there. Is that the one I said? Forgetting already. Where is 42? Must be down here. Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay, I think I'm just going to start with a harvesting. Keep it simple to start. So, borrow. I was almost in the way of that. Let's get it driven on over there. Oh, yeah, it's up there in the top right. Oop, I'm sorry. Let me turn off the setting real quick. stop and go on so I guess while I'm here I'll just kind of go through over the settings I have real quick so I have everything on except for stone I don't like to do stone it's just way too annoying to have to deal with um, I had it set to two day months um, mostly for the beginning just to give myself some time to you know kind of get going make some money up get my farm going um, hard difficulty. Um, I'll probably be changing the time scale here and there as needed, but, but yeah. Um, in terms of the goal, um, I'm going to try to get out of debt since this was a start from scratch. I have about, I think it's 200000 Yep, $200,000 of debt. Um, I'm not allowed to take out any more debt. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there it goes. Just magically pop right up there. <laughs> um, yeah, so not allowed to take out any more debt. Um, I need to be out of debt in order to, quote, win this series. Um, I would also like to have a million dollars in the bank. And I must own everything I need to to do what I want to do in this series. Which, my kind of goal for this series is to focus on cows. There is a road over here, right? Pretty sure there's a road. Nope. 
Maybe not. Maybe that's just a train track. I guess RC. Nope. Yep. That's just a train track. How do I get over there? I'm just going to keep going and see where I go. Um, so let's see, where was I? Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to focus on cows. Um, cows and dairy. I, I think I'm actually going to try to do corn silage. Just mainly because I've never really done that before. I had been playing this game for... I don't know, at least a year now, maybe a little over a year. This is the first farming simulator I've played. I haven't played anything before this. Um, so I have put quite a few amount of hours into it. Um, but yeah, one thing I've never really done is corn silage. I've done plenty of grass silage. I'll probably start off with some grass silage here just to kind of get cows going um, and to make a little bit of money at the start. But I do want to do corn silage just just to have it, you know, done at some point. So, I might not be able to go this way. Hmm, doesn't look like it. All right. Please excuse my bad driving. <laughs> I'm new to the area. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put a quick skip in here as I get up to the field. Welcome back, everybody. Finally made it to the correct field. Boy is 12 miles an hour pretty slow. It took a long time to get up here. Probably 10-15 minutes. <laughs> so, but we're here and we're harvesting. Just trying to get the start to make a little bit of money. Hopefully I can make enough today to buy a small chunk of land and put down a tent go to sleep for the next month I've kind of already scoped out the area I want to buy um, the maker of Bloomfield which I, I don't remember their name off the top of my head but they created a bunch of different farm locations um, and as long as it's not the ironically the one you start at a new farmer um, there's already buildings there. So there's, you know, and the, the place I'm looking at, there's a house. There's some silos. Um, I think there's a few sheds you can work with. Um, but then the important thing, and the reason why I'm going for this one, is there's actually a cow pen already. So I can, I don't have to buy my own. I could just buy that piece of land and get going on the cows. I do believe that piece of land is over 200,000 though. So it'll be a little while until I get to there. Um, but, you know, we'll get there when we get there. No huge rush. The biggest rush right now is just to make sure I get enough money today to go to sleep. That's essentially the big goal. There should be some pieces of land that are small enough to where I should be able to make enough money to buy here relatively soon. Actually, let me go ahead and check that right now. Okay, so the piece I'm looking at is right here. It's 31. 518. Wow, I was way off on that so yeah that'll be a long time until I get that um, but there's this little piece here that essentially has nothing on it it's only 22 grand they do have this four up here it's very very cheap 
just under 3,000. But I don't know. That's that location is not really the best. Um, this map is a lot bigger than it seems at first. Um, just driving down this road, it's it even in a faster car, it takes it takes quite a while. So I think just in terms of proximity to where I want to end up, I might try to get this 29. I think 22,000 off of contracts should be pretty doable uh, here just from <laughs> probably shouldn't have taken this first harvesting contract <laughs> so I'm probably one of the smallest fields with the smallest harvester also a slowest harvester but I took it so here we go um, should have this finished up here relatively soon so probably only like two cartfuls just a no, uh, comment too uh, I realized I was driving through that armor other farmers crops uh, I technically do have crop destruction on um, but when it's a contract or not your land it doesn't really do anything um, so I'm gonna have to be real careful once I get my own land to remember that I have crop crop destruction on I can't just drive around willy-nilly destroying all my crops so I'm not really sure where I want to start out in terms of buying my first equipment I am, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, I am not doing any leasing. Um, I am buy, I am allowed to buy used equipment, but I'm not allowed to lease anything. Um, so everything has to be my own bought. Um, and I'm not, I'm not going to do the, the cheat where you can buy something, use it, and then sell it back. Um, I will potentially sell equipment, but I won't purposely do it just to, you know, use a piece of equipment and then sell it back to get most of the money back. Like create little headland here. I might be able to get this all in, in one go. Let's see. I think the most logical place to start would be grass silage. Just because I feel like the amount of equipment you need is low. Like, for one thing, you don't need a big harvester which are very expensive. Um, you essentially just need somewhere where there's grass, which I'm pretty sure there's some grass on that land. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily need to buy a field, although buying a field would be optimal because you get a lot more grass from the field. And then you essentially just need a baler and a wrapper or one that does both and then some way to transport it so I think from a from that standpoint starting with grass silage might be the best way to make some cash here starting off at the beginning I do want to kinda of get this series going to the point where it doesn't feel like it's dragging um, I don't think I want to get too much more than like 50 episodes just because I feel like at that point um, it becomes a little bit monotonous and I don't know just from my own experience watching other youtubers I feel like it gets boring over time um, and I like to play on a, little, a lot of different maps <laughs> I really like starting starting from the beginning and you know working my way up but then even I get bored playing certain maps. 
I don't want to say relatively quickly, but quick enough to where I lose lose the original interest in the map. So I'm going to try my best not to get that to happen. I think, the, ironically, the best way to get that to happen is to progress quickly. Um, so the amount of time I spend here doing just contracts for money, I want to try to keep to a minimum. I don't want to just make this a, you know, contract run for the first five or so episodes. Um, hopefully, first two episodes will be just heavily contracts, and then maybe we can start to buy our own equipment and stuff from there. So. All right, I'm going to put a quick skip in here, get this field finished, um, and I will see you when you come back. Welcome back, everybody. Um, the field is all harvested. It all fit into the harvester. I think it was like 92%, so pretty close, but we got there. Um, if I could learn how to drive. Um, I'm just bringing the... Bringing this up there to to fill it and bring it over to I think it's the cereal factory which as you can see on the map by the exclamation point there <laughs> is pretty much the opposite direction of where I'm currently driving so yeah that'll be fun um, I think I am hopefully I don't crash while I'm looking at this but I am gonna take some of these plowing contracts just rearrange my driving a bit um, just because they're pretty good money um, and I need to get I need to get something so I can get to that 22,000 to buy that field um, and I don't really want to have to do you know 10 different contracts uh, here's the field right here by the way it's pretty much open could use it for some grass at the beginning um, I have a little tent mod I'm going to use for my sleep trigger. Um, but, but yeah, I don't want to have to do too many different contracts just to get that little piece of land. So I think I'm going to just try one of those bigger plowing contracts. So I, I don't think you saw me drive here before, but... Oops just said I was going to try not to drive in the crops, but without having to go all the way up the road and around and then down to where field 36 is, there's this little cut through through field 22. And I think I'm going to break my rule once again, cut through this. I don't really plan on being over in this side of the map. Um, so hopefully I don't have to do this too many times. This isn't really a realistic kind of gameplay that I'm playing. Um, I try to be realistic where it makes sense. Do a little bit of role play where it makes sense. I guess role play for this would just be I'm a nobody. I have no money. Somehow I have $200,000 in debt. And I'm looking to do some farming because I get some farming skills. So, we'll see. Kind of like a rags to riches sort of thing. So, yeah, while I'm driving here, just let me know uh, if you're liking what you see, if you have any suggestions, um, if, if you like the map. I haven't never really, like I said, haven't really played this map too much yet, so... I'm excited to see see how it goes. And yeah, um, even in terms of my YouTube videoing in general, any comments, uh, suggestive comments, constructive criticism, you know, anything I could do to make the gameplay a little better. I do prefer to do cuts rather than, um, you know, letting it record and doing a 
you know, fast forwarding it um, and doing that sort of thing. I'd rather just cut um, some of the boring parts when I'm not, you know, talking too much or explaining kind of what I'm doing or or anything like that. Um, but if you'd like to see the other, let me know. Um, and I can th potentially think about trying to do, um, you know, showing the whole recording. So let me just double check. I don't think there's any more in here, but nope. We'll just leave that here. It'll magically return to the owner afterwards. go back the way we came, back to the southern part of the map, try to drive on as least amount of crops as possible. Should I actually get a touch of money? This is a very small contract, so we probably won't have too much left over, but... If you're new to Farming Simulator, the way it usually works for contracts is usually it's about 95% of the field needs to be done, and that includes the grain or uh, product that you are dropping off. So essentially, whatever your total amount is, you get, again, I don't, I'm not sure it's 5%, but I think it's around 5%. You essentially get 5% left over that you can do whatever with um at this point there's not going to be enough to really save it for anything i also don't have anywhere to put it i don't have any silos or anything so i'm just going to continue dumping and make a little bit of extra cash on it it's not the best i'm sure it's not the best time to sell oats but again i don't really have anywhere to store it so it doesn't really make sense to hold on to it Plus, I, I can't get, leave it in this trailer because I have to turn this in. It'll disappear when I accept the con or when I finish the contract. So, so yeah, it'll be nice not to see a zero up there on my dollar amount too much longer. Even if it is only a few grand that we're making from this. never-ending road. I will, again, put another quick skip in here um, and meet you when we're at the selling station. All right, we are at the sale-off. People are beeping their horns at me. It's a great time. All right, let's see what we get. Three hundred and forty. Hmm. Not too much. Well, I might as well not drive this back. Um, go turn the contract in. $1,500. $1,200 after the leasing. So I'm up to $1,589. Not great. Not horrible. Um, but it is what it is. How big is 34 That's up there, right where I just was, where I don't like to go. <laughs> of course. All right. I have to save. Fertilizing, um, you get the most bang for your buck. Um, you do have to buy the fertilizer before you can do it, um, even if you rent the equipment. Um, so that's why I wasn't able to do that right off the bat. Um but I don't know if I have enough money to buy enough fertilizer for that big field. So I, I'm going to have to hold off on that. Um, I don't want to do all three of these. I think I'm just going to do 
51 and 54. Um, it's definitely going to take a little while, so I think I will borrow that equipment. And then just accept that one. Magically teleport. And here we go. Yeah, so I am not going to go through this entire field on camera. Um, it'll probably take a while. Um, and then in the next episode, I'll probably start it off um, towards the end of... Maybe the maybe towards the end of the first field, um, just to kind of bring you guys in, um, and then yeah, we'll go from there. But for now, let's just drive over there, see where we're going. It is very difficult to see where I can go to get there in this in this map. I think I can go this way. Because then I can go in between 55 and 56, hopefully. If there's not this line of trees like there is right here. No, there shouldn't be. I don't know why. It, it doesn't seem like there's enough roads. I don't know. I'm probably just being too picky. Don't mind me. Roads everywhere must be needed. <laughs> You can almost make out the field that I should be plowing. It's kind of gray looking. Take this off. I have to say I'm not a huge fan of these types of tractors, so we will see how this goes. Um, I am not, so I guess another c comment about this series is I do like to use workers. Um, I think here at the beginning, it doesn't really make sense to just because, you know, it costs a lot of money and I kind of need all the money I can get here right at the beginning. So for these first few fields, I'm going to try to do all the work um, but then you know as we kind of make a little bit more money um, I will be utilizing workers just because I feel like it makes makes the gameplay a little faster I'll probably have to put less skips in um, just to get you know one field done at a time and all that it just it some sometimes it feels like it drags on if you're just working on the same field all the time um, but again let me know. Let me know what you guys like. If if that's a good idea. If you'd rather me not use workers, um, I'm really kind of open for anything. I'm just kind of telling you how I typically play. Um, but yeah, again, I am open to change it up and see where this goes. So crashing into trees along the way. I am not the best kind of driver on this game. <laughs> I feel like driving over these crops is allowed because, you know, I'm plowing them anyways. Yeah, so I'm not really worried about missing little spots like that because I mentioned you don't have to necessarily do the entire field for it to, you know, say it's completed, so... Turn on the cruise control. Yeah, so this is going to take a while. Pretty big field here. We also got 51 over there to do now, too. And I can't turn this one in until I do that one. Because I borrowed the equipment for this one, but not that one. At least I think I borrowed it for 51. But... Yeah, so either way, I'm going to do both fields before I turn it back in. And then that should hopefully be enough, should definitely be enough money 
to buy that little plot of land that I was talking about. Probably also buy my tent. Um, so yeah, then I'd be good to go for August. Um, yeah, and actually now that I realize, I still have it on times one speed. I think because I'm doing multiple day months, I'm eventually going to speed it up a little bit. Um, for now, though, I'm going to keep it on one just because when you start the game in August, it's just one day a month. It's just what the default is. Um, so the two days doesn't start until September. Um, so I think once I get a few contracts done, I'll just kind of skip ahead to the next month and then speed up the time a little bit from there. Um, this first month, it's just kind of to get going, get started, and, you know, see, see where we're going from here. So, so yeah, with that, I think I'm going to end the video there. Um, thank you all for watching, and I hope I see you again next time. Have a good night.